Ah, you know, it's that time of the year, the winter arc. You have to get jacked, muscular, masculine to enter the summertime and just realize that no one gives a shit about us. And really the only thing we should be doing is striving for self-satisfaction and not to satisfy the eyes of other people. Oh, or something like that. Anyways, usually it's a time of year where people like to use a little bit of the Sazul, a little bit of the gear, do a couple 3cc injections in their ass every weekend or so. And for good reason, they want to do this because it gives them bigger muscles and obviously shows their work a little bit more saturated like, being that they get massive results really quickly. Or you could be one of the guys, the very far and few between, who wants to do this naturally without any form of injections or extra supplementation. Now, albeit rare, almost inevitably impossible in this current day and age, but it is a person or an archetype of several people out there. Alex Eubank, a person that has had many controversies, especially from the good old coach himself, Coach Greg, has been natural or supposedly claimed natural for many years at this point. Eight years, I think he says, in fact. And it's come to a point in which he started to move the other direction. Now, I might argue that he was probably moving the other direction a long time ago. But let's just check out this most recent video he posted. The end of an era. For eight long years, I've been grinding. No shortcuts, no excuses. Every breath, every set was earned the hard way. You see, I've heard it all. You're not big enough. You're not strong enough. For years, people have clowned me. I just make go from the most loved to the most hated fitness influencer in such a short amount of time. He's been wrestling. Remember this. He, uh, like, literally, he's, he's posting about how people commented how they hate him because he's small. And then he's showing videos of people also talking about how he's small, and that represents some form of a problem. Okay, just keep this in mind. Playing these allegations for ages and denying the fake naggy rumors constantly. Some of you think you know what I've been through, but you don't. Every ounce of muscle, every inch of progress, it's mine. It was not handed to me. No shortcuts, no cheats. I say natural for eight years straight. Eight years of pushing my body to its limit. Another big thing here, just because you take gear doesn't mean your gains are naturally handed to you or like given to you on a silver platter. Uh, in fact, statistically speaking, from the current meta-analysis out there, one in three people who go to the gym are on some form of anabolic steroids. Now, just glancing around your gym, maybe you're watching this as you're training. Do you see one in three people, like out of all the people in your gym right now, do you see about a total of 33% of the people who look like they're on gear? No? I, I mean, you take a look. No? Okay, it's because people do take gear and they don't look like shit. Okay, genetics are a real thing, and Alex Eubank happens to have a great set of genetics, because a lot of people who train naturally for decades will never look like Alex Eubank. So, first flaw there is that just taking gear won't give you the gains, brother. You still gotta do the work. Nothing's handed to you on a silver platter. You can hack biology, but it doesn't give free lunch. If you're in the same shit, talk the same doubts. Your physique isn't changing. Bro, you need a bulk. I'm not here to please anyone. I'm not here to fit in anyone's box. I'm here for me. I'm officially stepping into the world of testosterone. Not because I need validation. Not because I'm chasing numbers or approval. But he says, not because I need validation or not because I'm chasing numbers. Yet the first thing that he brought up when he opened the video was all of the negative comments telling him that he needs to get bigger. <laughs> okay, just, I don't know, a little bit contradicting, right? Just like me saying Butterface in that past video that you guys didn't like, but geez. Because I have more to prove to myself. The version of me you thought you know, he's gone. What's coming next? That's something you've never seen before. Um, yeah, so, so this is gonna be difficult. I've been thinking multiple ways of like how I'm supposed to go about explaining this to y'all, like what I'm doing and how I'm going about doing it. I'm gonna be completely transparent with what everything this whole series is gonna be so you guys can like keep along and watch as um I change. And I'm sure people are gonna make videos on this. I know Greg will for sure. Um, I don't know what kind of I'm making a video on it, motherfucker, and I think it's bullshit. Talk a little bit about on, like, on his stage, but I'm doing it in a healthy way. I'm monitoring everything. So basically, what happened is I was kind of feeling like you guys have known I've shown my test multiple times. I've ranged from naturally 215, the lowest being shredded, all the way like 900 natural. So like my job is for social media, right? Like it's, it, I do better known for being aesthetically. When my body is like lean and aesthetic, I feel like shit. I feel like less of a man. My sex drive, my sleep is shit. Bad energy, brain fog. It just isn't fun. Like when you're when I have to be lean and like my test is at like 300, it just isn't fun. I don't like I don't like it. But I'm a little bit more. No one likes being lean, and it's not fun. Even if you're on gear, it is absolutely miserable. Anyone can attest to this in the comment section below. I can attest to this. As someone who's done many shows, much more than Alex Eubank because he's never done a show. And getting lean, whether you're on gear or off of gear, because I won my pro card naturally and I've competed in the NPC many, many times, it's not fun. It fucking sucks every single time. It doesn't matter if you're tested 3,000 nanograms per deciliter. In fact, that number has very little to do with how a person subjectively feels. Whether you want to be on TRT or not, and you think that having low testosterone matters, it really doesn't. It actually matters like your androgen receptor density and many more things in terms of like your psychology to see how you feel. Feel, but this doesn't actually make a difference. Like, I think he thinks he's gonna get on testosterone and it's just like, I can stay shredded year round and it feels great. No, it still feels garbage. It never feels good. It never gets to a point where it's not like, man, I'm hungry as fuck. I wanna eat some food. I'm crabby. I'm so moody right now. I feel garbage.
garbage. I can't sleep right, but yet I'm tired. Like, what is going on? You still get that. You still have that all the time. Low libido, low sexual function. You still have those things on as much care as you want to take. Doesn't change. More bulked up fatter, you're fatter. Uh, I feel a lot better, but I don't like that look as much personally. I'm always like, if I could be 10% body fat or whatnot. Like that sounds like a fucking eating disorder. A, a side tangent. That sounds like a horrible eating disorder. Like year round, I feel really good still. I have a crazy sex drive, like crazy, you know, brain is dialed in all the time. Really good energy, really good sleep. Basically, all the effects you have when you are at a higher level of testosterone. Like, feeling like a man, like a good, like hard ass man. So, yes, I went to overtime, which is a place in Tampa. They can test your testosterone levels in 20 minutes. So I got it taken, my blood taken there within 20 minutes. They have my testosterone results, and my shit was like 350. They're like, tell me my options, and they're like, we can get you on test. And I was like, I was like, bro, I was like, why haven't I done it? I know I made videos talking about. I was always speaking against music steroids. Always speaking against that, 100%. But I've never spoken against TRT, right? I've trained almost I think eight years now naturally. I was like, bro, at the moment I was like, hey, bro, I was like, we both. I was like, we're gonna do it. Um, so they pinned, they pinned me right there. Um, and it was great. And I'm doing that HCG, and then I'm gonna be taking glutathione, glutathione, whatever it is. But yeah, shout out overtime, bro. They're so mad though. They're like, getting me hit and update on everything. They actually are also available now, I believe, in all 50 states. So if y'all wanna go, get your own stuff checked out, and whatnot. I'll link down below in the description if y'all wanna go check them out. Get your own levels checked out. They got like a whole variety of services they offer to provide. So they're getting me right. That's why I'm personally getting all my shit taken care of. So shout out overtime again for actually getting me dialed in. If you need real HRT, rise HRT down in the description below. 25% off. You guys will get a way better price than this shit storm of a fucking HRT clinic. I promise you that. Uh, and it's funny because he's like, oh, I just started going there and get my test levels checked. Why? Like, why is it if you're going into an HRT clinic, are you really just going there to get your test levels checked, bro? Maybe you're a regular there. I don't know. Um, I'm excited. In terms of the part of me being Oh, also just a whole nother thing here too. Anavar can be prescribed. All right. Uh, Nandrolone can be prescribed. So what does he consider? T he's like, okay. You know, TRT, I've never talked shit about that, but I've talked shit about steroids, which he's talked very badly about steroids, by the way, like given the whole God speech and everything. So now he's like, okay, I'm going to do TRT instead of just eating more. Like you're at a point where your popularity is is far beyond the dependency of your physique's look. I think Noel proved that when he got injured and had to downsize massively. He still had all of his followers. No one lost interest in his content. And he even gained followers and sponsorship over the time that he shrunk down massively. It was like 40 pounds of muscle or something. It's just, this is a, I don't know. He's just, he's bored. I don't like, dude, I don't actually think this is a bad idea for him. I think people getting on gear, if their profession is being really sick looking physiques and getting paid to do that is a great idea because it can truly be healthier than being constantly hypogonadal. I've talked about many times how like in a cognitive perspective, it's actually highly deleterious to be uh, hypogonadal or being subclinically uh, <laughs> dosed with testosterone. It's horrible for you. Same with cardiovascular health. People think that having high testosterone is conducive to bad cardiovascular health, but it's much, much worse to be hypogonadal or be subclinical with your testosterone for your cardiovascular health. It's extremely bad for you. So I'm not saying that this is a horrible idea. I'm just saying that this guy's character is a little bit questionable because he's talking about doing something that he was once so against and now he's happily doing it because the comment section? I don't know, man. Got it all, doing right? 200 tests a week. What we're starting at. I'd like to take a little bit more Navy. I think the most I ever take is like 250, realistically. And that's pretty much it. ECG, some Cialis every day. This is like the first cycle video. Like, I'll only ever take 250, bro. Sure. <laughs> sure. That's what we all said at one point, okay? That's what we all said at one point when we were all looking at that syringe and being like, that's all I'll ever need, dude. What a cheap cycle. People do this. These guys think they need gears. I'll do it on... They think they need grams of shit. They need growth hormone. I don't need any of that i just need 250. i thought the same thing after i won my natural pro card because i thought hey i am a natural pro already like i'll be good you know like i don't need a shit that nah dude that's how it works never how it works with any drug even clinically prescribed testosterone it's not how it works yeah, I'm to cialis today. I'll be taking, and then, um, um, trend. Yeah, I'm yeah so i again bro so it turned into trt now to cialis to the glutathione trt stands for testosterone replacement therapy keep in mind not testosterone plus cialis plus glutathione injectable plus you know whatever the fuck else he's probably going to be taking in a war if he hasn't already i am so confident and i got my coach my coach alex he's gonna give me dialed in that i'm going to transform my physique and all the people talking that saying your physique hasn't changed well whatever i'm going to take a quarter of the amount of gear that your favorite influencers probably taking and have a physique they could dream to have and i don't say that like a cocky like oh he's the humble way and i say because i know I'm, I'm, i know about myself whatever it is like i have a national life you're stupid i haven't and my physique actually changed now i know what my like, physique my frame and the weight and my, the way that i train when i actually am doubting looking forward to something as always been for the last seven years i know i know what i can do when i'm doubting it like I'm, I'm, I'm confident in that i don't mean that way i'm gonna take it in a healthy way and i'm gonna take way less the majority of people using it and look better than them i say that in a humble way like, i don't mean that like in a bad way i'm gonna show you all like you don't gotta abuse your body and take years off your life you can do this in a healthy way i'm gonna show you all that i'm gonna look insane so if you want to stay tuned and watch the series this is a brand new alex old alex is dead he's gone we're gonna see this kid in in a year or two years time making another video, my current cycle update. And it's gonna be like 350 tests, 350 Masteron, you know, 20 milligrams of Anavar a day. Like, it, it's like, dude, I'm doing this healthy. I got the perspective from my coach. We got boys at X, Y, and Z clinic taking care of me. It's all good, you know, I do this smart. I don't need anything, you know, like I just take what I have to, to to get the results. I don't know, stupid kids, in my opinion. Look, this is a smart. You don't need, at his age, you don't need testosterone. I don't need testosterone. Uh, nobody needs testosterone. You won't die 
die without it. Like you, you can't actually not produce any testosterone. Okay, you can in some certain unique, very special cases that are dealing with cancer and radiation therapies and other things, but you still don't just immediately fall over dead, nor would you if you were hypogonadal. You would definitely increase your mortality risk, but that's just a part of life. If you want to be serious, just eat more food, bro. Like you're talking about being healthy and trying to be better than everybody else, but all you need to do is eat more food to feel good. Just eat more food. Uh, like you were so against injecting yourself. I'm just, it's confusing and it's going to send the wrong signals to a lot of the younger audience. And I think people are going to interpret this in a really bad way, to be honest, because the people out there like Toji and everybody else right now who is already talking about all of the gears that they're taking and all this shit, enlightening that pathway for a lot of younger individuals now get exposed to this guy who's like, yeah, I was fucking natty, not worth it anymore. All the comments that I was small as shit, I'm going to show them. I'm going to, I'm going to teach them what's up. I'm going to show them how my body responds. It's like, dude, you're just literally feeding in to the type of people that you once said that you didn't respect. It's crazy. It's crazy. Alex, I will give you free access to our discord group. It'll give you everything you need to know about how to run gear appropriately, probably way better than your coach could ever do. Seriously, highly suggest you join message us, bro. Like we'll help you out. And if you guys need help too, discord's down there below. Seriously, it's a great place for some godly resources. Uh, no joke for people who are using pharmacology. It will save your life, literally. Like, not even kidding you. So, hook us up there. If you like, subscribe. It's free to you. Helps me out, but that's your choice, I think. If you're still here, maybe it isn't your choice. Maybe I'll make you do it with my mind. Or I'll just... One of the, uh...